What's poppin'? It's J to the A, D to the A. Welcome to my little corner of heaven. How y'all doing today? Today, we are discussing a dream from like months ago. <laughs> I had this dream in May, mid-May, and I'm so happy to bring it to y'all. I've had other Sanshimon dreams um, since May, but I really want to go in chronological order with the things that I'm meant to share with you about San Shimon. Check out this video if you want to know some things about San Shimon, my first experience about San Shimon, I believe. And check out this video if you want to see a quick, simple, easy altar setup. I call San Shimon San Shimon because I accidentally fucked up in conversation and said San Shimon when I ain't have no ties or I didn't, you know think I had any ties with San Shimon. <laughs> and then I had a dream where I was saying San Shimon, so it kind of stuck with me. So when I'm referring to San Shimon, I am talking about San Simon, San Simon, Saint Simon, my Shimon, feel what I'm saying? All right, so let's get into this dream. I just got really excited. So in the dream, I couldn't tell if it was dusk or dawn. I couldn't tell if the sun was coming up or setting, but I seen the sun over the line of the horizon. So, San Shimon, he wasn't far away approaching me. He was already kind of near me and coming closer to me. And I had my eyes on his poncho. Yes, he had on a poncho. <laughs> He had on a poncho and it was rainbow, like the poncho, like this right here, like this right here, exactly. And it's so amazing. And I just feel so special thinking about this dream. Um, He had a brown, red undertone. San Shimon had some things to share. He told me many of things. One of the things he told me was that he does not have sex with people he totally debunked that folk tale like you know how people be like it's an old wise tale it's an old ignorant tale like somebody just made it up he said he does not have sex with people he did not do that <laughs> stop saying he did <laughs> he said he did not do that okay he also told me that he likes when children play fight and he said that it makes them strong. This is something that I kind of get put down for. So it was interesting that a whole spiritual being has the same views as me. I feel like kids should be able to play fight in a non-deadly way. It's kind of like an initiation in a way. Like when I'm with kids, I be playing with them. I be doing little moves on them. They be falling out. Ah, do it again. Do it again. <laughs> They be like, do it again. I be like, bro, I'm literally beating you up. They like, do it again, do it again. So yeah, I play with kids like that to make them stronger. Like, I think that play fighting is helpful, just like San Shimon thinks it's helpful. And I feel like it could be very high vibrational and healthy. And yeah, I'm glad that me and a whole entity, <laughs> a whole non-physical being appreciates that just like I do. <laughs> so after he told me what he had to tell me, I had looked probably four feet away from where we were standing and he told me to pick a candle. Now, there were these tapered candles three to four feet away, standing up, lined up um, in a row going across. And I was just looking and I kept staring at the white one. And something inside me knew that the white one wasn't a plain white one. Something inside me knew that the white one was one of those rainbow drip candles. <laughs> you be seeing them on Amazon sometimes. I don't know who else got them, but those rainbow drip candles. And I picked it up. And I also picked up an orange candle and a red candle. And I brought it back to him. And I was like, these. His hands reached out. Let me talk about his hands. Bro, I already told y'all he's like a reddish brown color. <laughs> he's not pale. But he reached his hands out to me. Now, I have a family member that I love so much that is 99 years old. I'm very familiar with his 99-year-old hands. 
his hands are not as wrinkly as the hands that I seen that belong to Sun Shimon in my dream. He reached out and grabbed the rainbow one, y'all. And he had on a rainbow poncho. Awesome. <laughs> and to me, him grabbing the rainbow one, reaching his old ancient hand out and grabbing the rainbow one tells me that he loves any color. He will accept all colors, any type of color. You could give him any type of color and he would accept it. But he loves all colors and prefer to have all of the colors um, on his space at the same time. He prefers to have all colors present when honoring him. And he said good on the red, good on the orange, but he prefers all colors so if you can't get all of the colors go for a red and go for an orange but even if you can't get the red or the orange or all of the colors he will accept any color including white all right I did not see a black candle present, but if that's all you have, he will accept it. But it's not something that he prefers. And he also told me that he is not super strict about this. This is just how he would prefer things to be. I think that's all I got. Um, yeah, that's all I got. I just can't wait until I can deepen my relationship with Sanshi Moon. And I can't wait to meet more aspects of him. Oh my gosh, that's it, y'all. Okay, that's all. <laughs> um, just so you know, <laughs> I love y'all. And make sure you like, 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 comment, 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 share, 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 and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Peace, my G.